boys and girls, it's Mrs. Smiley again. I wanted to read you a story, and it's from chap it's from Unit 8, um, What is in the Sky? So we're going to kind of continue with that. And this story is called, Who Needs Rooster? So it's a question, who needs rooster? And I want to show you the picture that goes with it. And you can see a little picture here of rooster. And rooster is that animal, the little bird we've talked about before, who always says, cock a doodle doo and wakes all the animals up. So Who needs, needs Rooster is our title. This is a listening story. So I'm going to read this story to you and you're going to put on your listening ears right now and get ready to be a really good listener. And stop as we read and think, think about the story, make some predictions. What do you think will happen next? Do you think the animals are making good choices or bad choices? And so kind of think about the story as we read it. I hope you enjoy it, okay? All right, here we go. Get ready to listen. Who needs Rooster? Rooster was not happy. All of the other animals on the farm were complaining about his crowing. They were tired of Rooster getting them up as soon as the sun rose in the morning. Let them wake themselves up, Rooster mumbled angrily. Then he stormed back inside the barn and promised that he would never crow again even if they begged him to. Well, the next day, the animals were very happy. There was no rooster to wake them from their sleep. They stayed in bed until noon. Why should they get up so early when they didn't have to? They had all day to do what needed to be done. Everyone was still happy the next day. They wondered why they had ever needed Rooster in the first place. But then things started to go badly. Make a prediction. Stop and think, well, what could go bad? I mean, they're all sleeping in and they're so happy. So what could go bad? Rooster stopped crowing. All right, let's find out. But then things started to go badly. Cow missed getting milked. Eggs began to pile up in hen's nest. Horse didn't get out to eat until it was too hot in the meadow. And pig missed his feeding time. The farm animals thought about asking Rooster to do his job again. But then they had another idea. Who needs Rooster? The farm animals said. We can take turns waking each other up. They thought it was a very good plan. What do you think, boys and girls? Is that a good plan or a bad plan? Should the animals take turns waking themselves up or should they ask Rooster to come back? Well, the first morning, Cow woke up early. Moo, 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 she crowed but none of the animals heard her. They all slept until noon. What an easy job, said the hen. The next morning, cluck, 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 she crowed, but none of the animals even opened an eye. I can do this, said the horse. Nay, 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 crowed the horse, but none of the animals even stirred in their sleep. How hard could this job be? said the pig the next morning. Oink, 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 crowed the pig. But once again, all of the animals stayed fast asleep. Make a prediction. They tried to wake each other up. They tried taking turns. It just didn't work. What do you think is going to happen next? Finally, the animals went to find Rooster in the barn. We're sorry, Rooster. They said, won't you please come back and do your job? We need you again and we'll never ever complain again about your crowing. At first, Rooster did not want to help. But Rooster missed his old job. There was nothing he liked better than crowing in the morning. Okay, he finally said. The next morning, Rooster woke up at the break of dawn. cock a doo doo cock a doo doo cock a doo doo he crowed. The other animals rolled over, opened their eyes, 
and listened to rooster crowing, they had never heard such a beautiful sound. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls, about rooster. And so in this story, you made some predictions along the way, I think. And I think your first prediction and your first question that we were making was, did they make the right decision when they told Rooster that they didn't want him to crow anymore? What do you think? I think I agree with you. They made a mistake. That was not a good decision to tell Rooster not to do his job anymore. I know they like sleeping in, but they needed Rooster to wake them up. Well, boys and girls, in the story, they had a plan. There was something else they were going to try instead of using Rooster. What was their plan? What did they want to try instead of having Rooster wake them up? What were they going to try that was different? You're right. They were going to take turns. Remember? But what was the problem with that? Why didn't that work? Why couldn't cow and horse and pig and hen, why couldn't they just take turns? It sounded like a good plan. Yeah, it just didn't work, did they? They couldn't hear the moo and the neigh and the cluck, cluck, cluck. I guess it just wasn't loud enough to wake up all of the animals. And in the story, we found out that it, it, this title was Who Needs Rooster? And during the story, we kind of found out they did need Rooster. What were some bad things that happened to the animals, kind of sad things that were happening because they didn't have Rooster? Can you think of a few? Yes, a cow. What happened to cow? They were, he didn't get milked. Pig missed the feeding time, so pig didn't get to eat. And horse, poor horse didn't get out into the meadow until it was so hot in the meadow that probably it was all dry out there. And then what about hen? Remember all the eggs in his nest? His nest was full of eggs. Nobody was getting the eggs out of the nest. So rooster, we found out, played a really important role on the farm and had a very important job to do. And the animals at the end of the story, they did realize they definitely needed rooster, didn't they? And I think that they were really nice when they, I'm not really nice, it was really nice of Rooster to agree to come back and to do his job. So what I'd like you to do now is draw a picture from the story and draw the setting. Show me where they're at. Remember, they're on the farm. And show me some of the animals who are the characters in this story. And maybe you could write a few sentences and tell me the story of Rooster. Who needs Rooster? So maybe you could answer that when you write your sentences. Thank you for being such good listeners, boys and girls. I enjoyed sharing this story with you. It's a good one. Have a good day.